What's up? What's going on, Pisces? Oh, my cards are messed up here. Let's see. All right, let's get into this reading. I am reading with the Accurate AF Tarot deck. Love this deck. The link will be below if you're interested. All right. All right, let's get into these messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. You guys, thanks for everyone who has ordered a personal. They are still available for a limited time. The link will be below. All right. All right, so let's get into it. It's PiscesRS.com. Messages for those watching. God and just the universe messages for Pisces watching at this time. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, Pisces. All right. Wow. All right, Pisces. So this is our little spread of the Accurate AF deck. All right, the first two cards I saw just lit up my world, okay? We got the Ten of Rings and the Queen of Rings. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is manifesting your reality here. This is working in the physical world as well as in the spiritual world. And when you do that, everything starts to take shape. Things start to, to take form. Oh, y'all, excuse my nail. Things start to take form here, okay? And we get into longevity, all right? Sometimes, Pisces, we be so focused on these short-term successes we forget about the long the long run, all right? Where do we want to be 10 years from now, okay? What do we want to accomplish within the next two decades? Where do we want to be when we're old and gray on our porch in our final days, okay? I feel like the Ten of Rings here, you guys are focusing on the long term. You guys could have some sort of master plan, master um fantasy that you've like created in your mind of how you envision your life to be okay with the spirit of rings coming out here as well i believe this is like the ace of pentacles and it says productivity and endurance okay so i feel like you have gone through a long hard journey here a long hard road when it comes to your work your career um, even relationships, maybe you guys have just been dating forever and ever. And you're just like, when is my time? Okay. When is everything going to fall in place for me? Okay. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of heartache. And right now you don't feel enticed to go towards anyone. The four of cups here. All right. You know, you have choices. You know, you have options. You are evaluating every single choice re-evaluation so that means you're thinking about your next move over and over and over again you're not just hopping into a situation with anyone okay even at a job i feel like with the tower energy here there's been some um rugs that have been pulled underneath you your guys's feet so it's like one second you think things are so strong and sturdy. You think these people will always be in your life forever. You think this job will always treat you right forever. And then it's like, boom, everything changes overnight, practically. And this is when the Three of Swords comes in. This has happened so many times, Pisces, you can't even count. You can't even count how many times you've been disappointed, how many times people have, you know, completely just pulled the rug from underneath of you, okay? And now, because of that, you're, you're no longer looking on the outside to satisfy you or to fulfill you, all right? You know that all of your success, all of your joy, all of your security foundation, it has to come from within you. That's the only way it's going to be there forever. That's the only way you can guarantee longevity is if you create it. That's what, that's what I'm feeling, all right? These offers from people, they're short-lived and you know that. You know that. You know that eventually you're going to have some conflict with people. Eventually, you're going to have some situations at the workplace. All right? That's why you're thinking about the long term. Like, what can I create 
with my own power, with me and in, in, in God, me and in, in the universe, what can I create that can never be taken away from me, ever? That's the only thing you're interested in, all right? And when it comes to relationships, I think if it's not marriage, if it's not long-term commitment, and I mean like a real marriage, not these fake marriages we see out here, y'all, where they're just for show. No, no, no. You want a real secure foundation with someone. And if it's not that, you're not interested. All right? You've had too many tower moments. You've been disappointed too many times. All right? So what you're not going to do is take one of these blase offers and act like it's the real deal. Like you've done that before. You're not going to do that again. All right? So I feel like here, Pisces, especially in work, there's something that you're working on. It could be some sort of new project, new business venture, maybe a new job. Maybe you guys just got a job offer. All right? Take it. If you guys got any sort of offer here, you guys need to take it because there's something that is guaranteeing you long-term success. All right? Whatever you hop into right now, it's going to lead your way for comfort, luxury, stability, foundation. This is the pathway to all of those things. All right? So take advantage of whatever opportunity presents itself. And because of what you've gone through in the past, Pisces, I feel like you know the real deal when you see it. You know what's worth your time, your energy. You know who is worth your time and your energy. All right? I can't shake the feeling of marriage, of royalty. Okay? Some of you guys could be stepping into a marriage of great comfort. All right? There could be a lot of financial security and success coming in with your future partnerships. I don't see any separation. All right? Where there is... I feel like where there is partnership and love, there's also success and material prosperity. All right? There's something about being unbreakable. Whatever comes in for you in the near future is unbreakable. This is something that's going to last for the next 10 years of your life. All right? I know you're like, what the hell? No, it ain't. Because ain't nothing last 10 years. But yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't know if this is a job. I don't know if this is a business. I don't know if this is a relationship. But whatever's coming in, in Pisces for you, it's going to last a very long time. Okay? Oh, shoot. Look at my cars. They're, just, they're, they're hopping, y'all. The cars are hopping. What advice do we have here for Pisces watching? I'm just going to pull one or two more of these. I love these cards. Okay, I see one flipped. Wow, we have the Empress. We have the Empress. Beautiful energy. Maternal. All right, you see this? You are nurturing something, the idea of something, or physically you're nurturing a human being. You guys will be, you know, being mothers, being fathers. You will be providers, all right? You are looked at in a light. That very few people get to stand in. All right? Somebody sees you as being it, Pisces. Like you are beautiful inside and out. You are like a goddess. Our God. All right? If you're a male, whatever. It's just like you are royalty. And somebody sees you for who you are. You see yourself for who you are. A lot of you guys right now are focusing on your physical beauty. It's nothing wrong with that. You're pampering yourself. You're getting massages. You're getting your hair done. You are revamping your style. You are transforming who you are to the public world. Because who you were doesn't fit with who you are anymore on the inside. Now it's time for you to show everyone who you are on the outside. And it has to match who you've been feeling like on the inside. All right? I didn't mean to throw that card like that. <laughs> this is beautiful. Some of you guys who are worried about having children or if you can bear children, you can. You can. All right? It's about you tapping into that instinct, 
that motherhood, tap into your center. You are abundant in all things. You can produce anything you want. You can nurture anything into fruition, into creation. You got to know that, Pisces. This is a very abundant time for you. Very. Whatever you're creating is going to last for the next decade, the next 10 years. Guaranteed. All right. I'm going to pull um, a monology card. All right. So let's see. Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces? What message will help Pisces at this time watching? Okay. All right. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. All right. So if you've been having any issues with anyone, I'm telling you, people, this has been a theme, Pisces. People want to come into your life and make amends. All right. There's going to be a lot of resolutions. There's going to be a lot of people trying to make sure they're good with you. Make sure you're good with them because they see where you're going. They see your worth. They see your beauty. All right. They see what you're able to create. And people don't want to be on your bad side, Pisces. They really don't. So any personal conflicts that you've had with people, they're going to be laid to rest. People are going to be the last of your issues. All right? You got 99 problems, but people won't be one of them because you're building some sort of foundation here for yourself. You're creating something that is bigger than yourself. All right? You're thinking about long term. You're thinking about decades ahead. You're thinking about the next generation. All right, so all these little petty issues and conflicts you have with people, they're just going to fall to the wayside. Everything's going to work itself out. Everything's going to be resolved because your focus is on bigger things. All right, so Pisces, I truly hope these messages helped you in some way, shape, or form. Thank you so much for all your love, all your support. Go to PiscesRUs.com if you're looking for a personal for limited time only. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.